Hey everyone, do another quick review here. Today we're going to be doing the Injora Swamp Stompers. Uh, it's a duplicate or copy of the LGRC's uh, Swamp Kings, if you guys have noticed. There's a picture of the lugs on you. Great design overall. Uh, I just want this one because I, I like the design and the tread pattern here in the center. I think that'll do good for the comp course I go to. Very sticky, soft. Uh, let me draw back initially is looking at the website. Uh, I'm pretty sure I ordered the 63 millimeter. However, I got the 58 millimeter. Uh, the reason I say that is because my other uh, Enjoyer tires are about the same height when you look at them. Slightly taller, so that just could be me and my perspective. Um, when you look at it close, it is a little taller there, so who knows. They are not mounted either compared to the mounted tire, so that might be it. This is a general comparison here, stock tire. And then we have the uh, DJ crawlers that are coming up in another view. I think they're 68 millimeter. That side of reference. So again, super soft, super crunchy. The foams that they come with, I'd say they're medium soft. They're not as soft as some of the other ones, but they're definitely not hard. So that's good. I'm gonna keep them the same. One of the reasons I'm switching these things out uh, again is just the tread pattern. I don't like them for the course I'm doing on. Uh, I think they. Uh, just slip a little bit more than I want to and they bite. I think they'd be better for uh, some rough rocks as opposed to some of the smooth rocks in the area. And especially the width. I just want the width and I didn't want the as much bite on the side tread here, kind of how we see here. Um, also though, however, I, I did modify the tire. I put some holes in it, spiked it up a little bit and I feel like it's too soft now. Uh, the side wall is not as, as good as it, it could be and it bites and you get that, uh, that torque twist on the tire and it gets stuck just because there's not as much support. I did order some uh, flub stuffers, I believe they're called, so we'll see and we'll do a review on that with the DJ Carlos here coming up shortly. Uh, I'm going to put them on the rig and uh, we'll take a look and see how it goes. Alright, welcome back. Part 2 of the video here. I have them installed and I tried them on my little course really quickly. So far, uh, so good. I really like the tires on the rig I have going on here. Instead of opting to vent the tires, I opted the, to vent the wheel, so I, I drilled a little hole in there. Uh, so malleable, very squishy, good good uh, grip on the rocks. Uh, so far, uh, massive improvement on the flat uh, little rock here I'll, I'll dive into in terms of the uh, grip going up, good control going down. Uh, yeah, just, just I'd say like 10% better of what I was kind of looking for, which is all you really need. Uh, and then on the back of the rig here, just from uh, my last video, I added in the limiting strap, same one I have in front, the ramp crab. You can still see I get the uh, all the articulation that I'm looking for, me personally, so there it goes. Uh, great tire, only a tad bigger than the other ones, but the kind of grip I'm looking for, so I'm really happy so far. Uh, do a quick uh, video of them on the, uh, the rocks. So mind the angle here. Here we are going over these obstacles, stuck there. See the uphill. Really easy. I'll, I'll do that again. Again, you can see the tires here, super dusty rocks. Not having to put too much uh, oomph in to dig it up these rocks. Let's see if I can get it again. Miss it on that one, but. There we go, we have it. All the way up on top.